unfortunately. Yeah. I think the biggest thing was that I went to a trade school. The art institute, from what I understand, is supposed to be a trade school. That's where I went. And it just didn't work out. Your district's pretty affordable. I flip, I swear to God, if I just reset this. I swear to God, if I just reset this. Okay, I think we're fine. Yeah, my district, I live in the, the District of Columbia. Well, I, I live near the District of Columbia. I live in Maryland right now. But, I mean, it's all pretty much close. D.C., Maryland, Virginia. It's all right there, like the same little circle. And D.C. schools can be, tend to get expensive. Especially since most of the schools in D.C. are all trade schools. Like, universities and whatnot. And not like community colleges. You have extended family out there and you've been there multiple times? Did it reset? Did I go the wrong way? Did I not move that? <sighs> Man. You're on West Coast? Okay. That makes sense. Oh, wait, this is an empty room, right? So do you teach for a uh, community college or university? I guess another downside to schooling for me is that I, I'm generally just bad at book learning. Um, I'm really good at memorizing anything that I can physically do. Which is why I want to do PC building because I can memorize, I can remember how to put a PC together. Oh, so very easily. But if you ask me to sit down and read a book and try to memorize it, which is why for CompTIA A+, the only way for me to actually memorize what I've learned out of a book is just take the practice test over and over and over and over and over until it's ingrained in my head. Community college? Universities usually have a special program for that kind um, that are kind of rough. Cool, okay. How long you've been a university? I know I'm asking a lot of personal questions. How long have you been a university uh, college teacher? I attacked the wrong monster. 12 years? Okay, that's, the, that's really good. That's really good. For me, I've been doing customer service work for... Jesus. Since 2007? That's what, 3, 12, so 15 years of customer service work? Fifteen years of customer service work, nine years of that would be working as a building engineer for uh, Marriott, and then the other, all the rest of the time is working at, uh, was it, nine years of game, nine and a half years of uh, Marriott doing building engineering. Um, I did one year of Walmart, and the rest of it was all GameStop. 
<laughs> that that's nightmare fuel right there. Maybe I'll make that its sub goal. Retelling the tales of my GameStop life. That's scary. You know the streamer that did GameStop for a while? This is not including the time that I worked as Uncle Sam um, for Liberty Tax Service. The mascot guy handing out uh, handing out uh, coupons and stuff. That when I was in high school, that that didn't count. Or the times I worked at Rally slash Checkers during my high school, I didn't count any of that. That's a whole nother beast. Am I going the right? I feel like I'm going the wrong way again. Why do you? Why do I always feel like I'm going the wrong way? Yeah, I bet you that they don't have any nice stories about it. <laughs> I'm distracted. Yeah, that too. I'm still trying to debate on what we play tomorrow. Um, I've got the beta code invitation for the Street Fighter 6 uh, second close beta. So I'm like torn. Like, do I play Golden Sun like I intended or do I swap and play Street Fighter 6? I wasn't expecting to get the code. And then last night they were like, hey, you want a code? I'm like, oh, okay then. Yeah, I kind of figured the, the Minotaur would survive. Pierce isn't exactly known for his magical damage. It's actually known for his lack thereof. So we're still trying to figure that out. We're also still trying to figure out uh, different sub goals uh, to add to our list of sub goals for the 1k subathon uh, that we will do when we hit 1,000 followers. We are 45 followers away from that, by the way. So we're trying to think of ideas, whether it be video game related or non-video game related. We can do anything as long as it's not going to kill me. Or is it scary? Because Broshi does not do scary things. I'm lax scary intolerant. Did a little challenge run of GS2. That was kind of fun not too long ago. Doing it for Dark Dawn now. A challenge run? What does the challenge run con um, consist of, do you know? If I might ask. I went the wrong way again. How do I keep going the wrong way? Called impure. Eat it up can use any elements except their own. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, she's gonna die. Don't kill a healer. She needs to live. How dare you hit her? No synergies, no gen, no summons of the uh, of the same element. Okay, so they can use everything outside of it. But does that also include gens that have a mixture of t um, elements? Oh, okay. So it does include it. That's unfortunate. It's a little sad because I like using all the uh, the big ones. I mean, it makes sense. It's not a bad challenge run. It just makes me sad because I like all the uh, all the stuff, all the things. Okay, let's go back to the beginning and retrace our steps again because I got to it turned around somewhere. I made all the left turns at Albuquerque. 
I made the left turn to Albuquerque and ended up in Denmark. When I was looking for Washington, D.C. So let's try this again. I want to go right, right. I think that's where I want to go. Why can't I run from the giant flying squirrels? Ugh. They're so lame. Well, the big ones are only two elements, so the other two can summon them. True. I need to find more of these earth elementals. If I end up going the wrong way again, then I can officially say that this is harder than playing Elden Ring. At least in Elden Ring, you always stumble upon something new, regardless if you go the wrong way or not. This game is gentle because there aren't any real points of no return to worry about. Doctor has lots of points of no return. Yeah. I still like it, though. Uh, it's trying to kill me. I win! Can't squish me. Cause I'm Felix, man! And I am not made out of gingerbread. Do, 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 do. Aging gas! Rage wrath! Searing fog! Oh, you're supposed to use heartbreak! Don't mess the. the Chain up. Everybody else use criticals. Dark Dawn has many good things, but the story wasn't comp um, compelling for you. I think that's the general consensus for that one. The story just wasn't really up there. Which is a shame, because I thought the gameplay was fun. I just, that story was like. <laughs> I was scratching my head. And a lot of a lot of the time, like okay, this is what now? Reveal the hole in the wall. Oh. They need to make another golden sun already and stop getting around with me, though. They're doing the Mega Man collection. Why can't we get the golden sun collection now? What y'all doing, man? Hurry up! found our way through the stupid maze next up is magma rock next up is magma rock let's go it's magma rock let's go it's magma rock can't wait to see it magma rock can't wait to see it magma rock our, my favorite rock is still gaia rock though air rock and water rock or i guess it's aqua rock they can all kick buckets not about that life here. I think my favorite dungeons in this particular game are Mars Lighthouse, followed by the Tundra Tundra Tower thingy. I can't remember what they actually call it. The the one at the south of the map. That tower is pretty cool. I love the music for that. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Magma Rock, it's just literally... It's a rock made of fire. <laughs> there's no other reason to be there other than... Like, the, the character's like, there's no other reason to be here other than to find, you know, synergy. And I feel like Aqua Rock has a little bit of a story, right? What? 
in the fact that the villagers say that you're not supposed to go there because something bad happens to you if you uh, venture there or something like that. But, no, I guess that's not really much of a story, more like a superstition. And the villagers that live nearby are too weak to go and check it out. Living armor! Times one. <laughs> Die, you! He's dead. Oh, he dead. He's super dead. But, I'm also looking into trying to do a, uh, I want to do a Stardew Valley 100% completion get, uh, run. I have yet to ever do a 100% completion run of Stardew Valley. So I'm going to be looking to do one of those in the near future as well. Oh, I was like, where? Let's go. Jupiter and Mercury are cool. I think Mars is probably the coolest lighthouse. Uh, followed by, I'd say, Jupiter. Um, then I'd probably say Venus. Then Mercury. And I don't I, I get it. Mercury's the first lighthouse, so they of course made it a little bit more streamlined and easy. Yep. Did yeah, Dark Dawn didn't really have many of any much of anything in terms of uh imposing structures. The final dungeon in Dark Dawn was pretty cool, though. Wait, give your fork piece to him. Sheba, you give your fork piece to him as well. Everybody give the fork pieces over, okay? Thank you. Alright, so I don't have grind yet. I need to get grind. I forget where you find the grind pebble, though. I need to go back over to Yalom, but it's so far. <laughs> it's so far, and I don't want to go over there. If I ever want a uh, reminder or a hint, you could probably get what we call a fortune cookie hint. Sounds good. I don't know. I think the biggest thrill of this game is the fact that I can just kind of roam around and explore and I always find something random. Like right now I'm hoping to randomly see a bunch of random uh, gin. Hey look, it's Bobby's Lighthouse. I said Jim's gin. I'm trying to find Earth. I always seem to have terrible luck finding them. Really? I got caught by surprise by the weak ones? They stunned my fucking healer. We literally just left Jenna there. We all ran away and just left her there. You pretty much always play with the gen list. In terms of location. Hey look, it's Venus Lighthouse. Can't touch it though. I wasn't trying to gaze into the pond. I was trying to see the map. Okay. Maybe I need to... No, because if I go back to uh, Kibambo, I'm literally only going to get the uh, the Dark Mage Tome thingy. And that's not really all that important. Is that Kibambo? Well, I mean, if I'm already here, I might as well, right? Also, I feel like there's going to be something here in this little ground right here. I like that you can ride your boat into the river. 
These are the weak pterodons, right? Oh no, these are not the weak pterodons. These guys are, uh... Got some, some gumption. They're tough. Okay, so, we have... We have assessed that there is nothing of value here. Wait, I thought we caught him by surprise. I guess we just got to attack first. Ooh, a thousand experience though. That's that's pretty neat. Slayer. Ah, well. Okay, never mind. He died. I said, like, well, he's not gonna die this turn. Alright, I can't go any further north though because of the uh, thingy. And we might as well go back and get it. We're here, right? We might as well do the right thing and go and get the, uh, the special power. I think there's also a Jenny in there as well, so. Let's sell some stuff. Sell! Um. No? Oh, uh, yeah, sell her shirt. That, that didn't sound right, I'm sorry. Sell the shirt she's not wearing anymore, the old shirt. I don't want to imply that I go around selling <laughs> women's shirts. <laughs> Off their backs, that is. Can I just walk through the front door? Yes. I don't know why I'm doing this. This item is useless. I don't like any of the transformation uh, items. I find them all kind of dull and boring. Put Cyclone on quick. Not okay, but it can hit pretty hard with enough gin. Are oh, you talking about the Dark Tome thingy? I can't. That's not gonna hit it. Oh, it did. Uh, which means whatever it is is gonna be close to the center. Death head. Oh. Well, if that's how strong they are. Oh. That's where I wanted to go. Ooh, ba ba be ba boo. Did I go the right way or the explorer's way? The right way will lead me to the path moving forward. The explorer's way would show me the goods. Also, how did I kill the bone fighter with one hit? I should be trying to find all the treasure that I possibly can. If I take this path, is it gonna make me fly? Okay, good, I can run from those guys. Oh look, it's a mint. That's a agility boost, right? Yeah. A 200, 177, 95, 122. I feel like I don't care if Pierce is fast enough, right? I feel like we don't care if Pierce is fast enough. Pierce will never be fast enough. Since you've played this before, have you ever heard or, or tried Retreat Glitch? Interesting little bug. You mean... I'm not 
certain. I've never heard of the glitch by name. Um, I do know that a few of the community members had showed me a glitch within, I think it was Air Rock, where if you use retreat um, while having not enough mana or PP, you get the Soul Blade. Yeah, I did it. I played with the soul. I played with the blade for a while. Then I was like, you know what? This makes the game feel way too easy. So I sold the blade for money, and it's like, you know what? I'm just going to stick with the non-soul blade. This, I was like, this makes the game feel so much more uh, better. I was like, I think I'm just going to keep playing until I get soul blade later. Oh, it's a reveal type thing. Under. You can also get the Iris Summon early, and that's the one that... No, wait. I'm thinking of the wrong one. I was thinking of, uh... I think it was Megara, the one that does damage and then increases your party's attack. That's kind of something I like, but damn. I miscalculated just how much damage would be done death hit. It's the I win summon. That's not the one that you get for collecting all the Jenny and like beating Dullahan, right? Oh, it is that one. Gotcha. It's the, so you thought you wanted to play the game summon. But then it tells you it's not about that life. I think I did what I was supposed to do right there. Wham! I get no experience from picking on these guys, and it makes me feel bad. Picking on the weak and defenseless. Who who am I even? Da 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 But yeah, my favorite summon is Megara. Megara is my favorite summon. I love the damage and the uh the attack point uh attack boost. It makes you feel strong. There is a synergy that prevents combat with weak Yes, avoid, right? I just haven't used it. I happen to remember to keep applying it. Even though it tells me, you know, when I need to reapply it, I still hate having to remember to do it. Yes. Piers has it automatically. It's like one of Piers' signature things. So long as he has Mercury Gen on him. Oh. It's the... The plant from Guy Rock. Should make for good sport at least. It died. Oh, I got a game ticket. I didn't find a Jenny down here. I could have sworn there should have been one. You didn't have Mercury on Pierce for your last run, so you never saw it? <laughs> By reaching this place, you have proven your power. By rights, Akafubu should bear this power, but I shall keep my promise and bestow it upon the one to reach this place first. I am grateful for your promise, but I am worried that we have done Akafubu and the Kibabo a great wrong. Akafubu does, has not honed his own powers, and the fault lies with him alone. And yet, there is a hint of truth to what you say. Then what? 
What, uh, what are we to do? Does this mean we won't even receive your magic? As I have said, I will give the power to you. Your concern is misplaced. But I must add some small conditions to our agreement. What? Well, what kind of conditions? You must not mention this to Akafubu. Akafubu was plainly ill-prepared for this test. He will lose heart if he hears what you have done. And yet, the Kebab will have need of this ill-prepared leader. If Akafubu ever reaches this place, I shall teach him the magic as well. Promise me that you will not tell Akafubu that you earned this magic. Can you do this? Of course! And now I shall sleep. Farewell, successor to the witch doctor. I'm not the successor to the witch doctor. I will never be the successor to the witch doctor. Uh, I'm going to give her Dark Rage! Alright, what does she know now? She knows Revive. Revive, Call Zombie, Raging Heat, Fury Abyss, Fire Puppet, Haunt Curse. Neat. Now, remove it. You know, I might just keep this one. Alright, so before I leave this place with the retreat, is there a Jenny in this place? If I leave here, am I losing out on a Jenny? Call zombie upgrades with 369 gin. Okay, so it becomes a stronger zombie. As if it's not retreating. I wish they had made it so that. Once a void wears off, it'll say, a void is worn off. Dude, would you like to reapply? Did I get mud? Nope, I don't have mud. Is mud inside this place? Alright, time to backtrack then. Maybe it's the path that I didn't take, the one that was like left of where I was at. Think it's close to the entrance? You're probably right. Let's go back. So like if it would if it just lets you apply it without having to keep doing this. The void would be infinitely better. Okay, I think this is where I made the uh, wrong turn to Albuquerque. Oh, there he is. There he is. He's in there somewhere. There we go. There we go. Consider to LR. Yeah, but I have move and uh, cyclone at the moment set there so that I can easily cast those. Should be dead already. How dare you touch me with your attacks? Oh, you died. I remember because you hit every flower, but except the one that you needed. That's usually how it goes, right? All right, we got mud. Okay, so I'm curious. If I do this, 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 this. So I have Planet Diver, Spire, Clay Spire, Growth, Mad Growth, Wild Growth, Blast, Nova, Repair, 
uh, revive, I mean, impair, revive, debilitate, haunt, curse, condemn. And I'm assuming she has the same ones, right? Yeah, she got the same stuff. Except she doesn't have revive yet. Oh, she does it. She does, she does. Uh... There's also a market engine, a Jenny that or that's gettable, tricky to find. You talking about like in here? So I lose Astral Blast guy, mother guy, weakened and feeble, and I gain revive, cure poison, restore, avoid, cutting edge, throwing briar, ply, ply well. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> oh, he's an elder now. Now he's a scholar. Okay, let me stop playing around, give this stuff back. Come on, give him his stuff back. Don't be stingy. Alright, now you get your stuff back from him. Just one you could get based on the list, but that's maybe too much. I mean, I'm short one Mercury Jenny right now, so. I'm sure I'll find it. Oh. That's not retreat. <laughs> not retreat at all. Okay. Now we retreat. Oh, I got potent cure now. Let's go. Let's go. Get the strongest type of cure there was. Get the strongest type of cure. Oh. Now, we're not talking about the one that's supposedly in between, uh, the village of the, uh, what's that place called? I gotta get that off my bars, man. God darn it, I keep hitting the button over that. So, like, is it, like, somewhere in here-ish? What's up, Infuriated? How you feeling, buddy? How you is be feeling? I can't go any further this way. Rip. How you is be feeling? How you is be feeling? I'm gonna start work on that, uh... The other flash drive tomorrow. I'll start getting the stuff put onto that tomorrow probably evening after stream not tomorrow Saturday after the stream I do it tomorrow but it, it'll take a while I mean I could do it overnight um I don't want to leave my computer on though it's not like it'll overheat or anything I just don't want to leave it on <laughs> Try to breed and catch a team to play through Scarlet. Okay. My competitive team is pretty much done now. I just need to work on leveling it up. I was trying to get them all to 100 so that I can use them in, uh... Uh, what's those battles called? Uh, raid battles. No problem. I should have it done on uh on saturday by saturday evening 
I just need to partition out the uh, the flash drive, um, so that I can put the files on the, the separate partitions within the flash drive that as needed. Um, which is the easy part. The hard part is just the time it takes for all the files to move over because it's a lot, a whole lot. I couldn't deal with the bugs and poor performance, so I stopped playing Violet. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was one of the lucky ones. I didn't get I didn't get any bugs or glitches. With the exception of the Pokeball stuck in the ground of the uh inside the uh the school. Whenever you enter a room, you'll see like a Pokeball stuck halfway through the ground. And I was like, that's weird, but it's like, eh, it's whatever. Outside of that though, I never I didn't experience anything too damaging. Played with a few friends a couple of times, but we had issues where I couldn't join them for terror raid battles. It might have been the levels. Hopefully we get a patch this uh, this month, June. Not June, January. Was there a button that you can push to, to re-enter your ship? Because I want to get that item out of the ship. Oh, okay. That's weird. Terror is horrible, so slow and glitchy. I think that's all dependent on internet connections, though. Like, some bad internet connections can, can completely ruin that experience for you. There's a place you can do it eventually. Do what? I'm sorry, I probably said something and then I completely forgot what it was. Because I'm crazy like that. I need to get to Magma Rock, but I'm pretty sure I need the grindstone for it. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I just realized it's probably near the, vi the village of the Jupiter uh, Adepts. The Jupiter Clan, I should say. So the people of Vale are the Venus clan. The people of Prox is the Mars clan. The people of Emil are the Mercury clan. And the people of, I forget the place for Jupiter, is the Jupiter clan. Mel is bit, uh, Vale is mixed. Well, that's true because it's near the, the heart of uh, all alchemy. So that makes sense. gonna have them craft some stuff for us that way we can empty our pockets out yes get to work sir make me the things make me all the things maybe something with the feather yes feather thing people living near rocks and the powers yeah most likely because of the wind that seems to be the general consensus in the game is that the wind carries the the synergy stone segments down from the mountain um, and into people. But of course their powers aren't as strong as, you know, people who have, you know, touched those rocks or whatnot. 
I got a floating hat, so this hat's not even gonna sit on my head. Raises luck and resists wind. Uh, 187 to 204, so that's a 13, 17 point great uh, raise. Uh, this is one is only a six point raise. Her attack will drop by eight. And her defense will rise by seven. That's kind of dumb. His defense will go up by four, five. So, in other words, give it to... Give it to Felix. I wonder if it's different. Like, if Aqua Rock's power is in the water and Guy's in the earth. Well, no. Uh, uh, Kushina and them, they, they all stated that the winds are can be pretty... Uh, they all say that the their powers are probably from well when we told them that what the power of synergy is about and that the rock was a source of it, they said that uh, people near uh, the village near the rock had always experienced you know you know a, a weird growth in power, but it wasn't that everybody would get it. It's weird. I don't know. The Earth one's kind of weird. I don't. I don't really understand exactly how it works. Um. Because it doesn't seem like there's heavy winds there. So I'm still not certain how it gets down off the rock thing. Yeah, it's weird. The only one that actually makes sense is Air Rock. Air Rock makes sense. And maybe Magma Rock. The heat from the, the magma could be... You know, causing it. I dislike that they still make me keep leaving the town to do this. I wish you could just walk out of his house, then walk back into his house, and it'd be done. 